Hello, so this question is locking numbers in a metric. So you're given an n-value metric, you want to find a locking number. So what is locking number? Locking number is a minimum element in its rule and maximum in the column. So it can be multiple, but let's look at the idea. So let's look at the example 1, 3, 7, 8, 9, 11, 13, 15, 16, 17. So the lucky number is what? The mean in the row. So mean in the row is what? 3, mean in the row is 9, mean in the row is 15. So if you look at the max, so max in its column, 3 is not the maximum in the column, 9 is not in the maximum in the column, 15 is. So 15 is the maximum in the column, and also the mean in the rule. So it's considered a lucky number. So what you need to do is you have a rule array, and then you will definitely distinct the mean. So I would say rule 1. So row one will you know find out the mean nine, eleven, thirteen, which one is the minimum. So I will say uh, I will have a nine and I'll have a column. So column rare represent the maximum in the column. So just keep comparing and then at some moment row i equal to column i. I is definitely starting from you know zero all the way to n or m, right? So once that happening that's considered a lucky number and then you store into the return array so let's look at this list integer result array list return result so i have a mean equal to new in max dot length max equal to new in max value dot length so let's not a good name. So let's look at look at this columns and rules, right? Maybe using them. All right. So first thing is I want to fill all the mean value with the integer dot max, so which is going to be represent what uh, rule, right? So I need to traverse the metric. So in j equal to zero, j less than metric at zero dot length. J plus plus. So in this one I say row equal to row say i equal to math dot mean row say i and then the current value i j. And it's going to be exactly the same thing for the columns. So columns at j equal to math dot max, right? So the only thing that we need to initialize is the what the rules because um, the value can be what the value can be oh it's only positive value, right? So we say equal to integer dot max value by default, and then we compare with the metric i j. So it's not initial equal to zero. So uh, that would be more uh, efficient, all right? So definitely call it to J. And then what you need to compare is what? The current value. So basically just keep updating your current current cell with the rows I, current cell with the uh, column J. And then once that finish, you still have to traverse again. So in this one, you just need to say, oh, if the row set i is equal to, equal to column j, if this is happening, then you just add the value metric at i j, right? So we have i, i represent row, j represent column, and then you just add into the result list of integer. So it should be fine. Cool. So time is space, this is space. I would say the worst case is, uh, I don't know, it should be all of m times m. If all of them have the, 
if all of them have the equal number, does it consider the min and also the max? Yes. So if all of the value in the metric are the same, you're going to return everything, right? So yeah, all of n times n for the uh, for the space. Time is definitely all of n times n, right? So this will be the solution. So I'll see you later. Bye.